Time for showbiz, and I have Noella Carignale. Hello, Noella. Hi, Ezra. Love your, you know, traditional. Well, dress. thank you. You should get me one. I should. Yeah, I should. Okay, I'll speak with the Y High Court judge. So you're promising? No, no, no. <laughs> I said I'll speak with the Y High Court judge so who got it for me. Exactly, you're not getting me one. I can't. It's coming from Y. Okay, that's yeah. okay. But um, let's talk about uh, actor um, Adewale Agbaji. Okay. Um, he's a Hollywood star who's featured in quite a number of popular movies. I mean, from Deadly Voyage to Thor to uh, Game of Thrones. Oh. If you can't, you know, put a face to the name, take a look at this. We have to get to the harbor and find a boat. The mountain is going to kill us all. She risked her life for me, Atticus. Risked everything for me. Then we will go together. No. You have your freedom, my friend. Now she is mine. At the harbor. Right, so he was on Joy, uh, specifically the personality profile with uh, Alexis Bale, okay. and he spoke at length. I mean, he talked about how uh, he never wanted to become an actor. In fact, he has a degree and a master's in law. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, and talked about how, you know, at seven months old, uh, his parents gave him out to his foster parents. And so he grew up in London, England. Uh, uh, but uh, what really touched me in the things he said was... Uh, the challenges he's faced uh, okay. to become the person that he is. So from riding bicycles to, you know, custom calls to uh, featuring in movies, he never got paid for. Take a listen to this. You know, people see you on the TV and it's, oh yeah, they see the glamour. Yeah. But they never see the hard, you know, struggle. I mean, when I got to LA, I didn't even have a car. I used to ride around on a bicycle to my auditions. Now, if anybody knows LA, it's, it's a huge, huge city. And, um, you know, I was embarrassed when I'd get to the auditions because I'd be sweating from the bike and I'd hide my bike in, in the bushes. So, you hide everybody. your bike? Yeah, because I, I didn't want anybody to see me riding to the... <laughs> yeah, and they'd be pulling up in their convertibles and everything and I'd be mopping myself up <laughs> to, to prepare myself to go into the audition. Yeah. And, and then, I, you know, I'd go in and do the audition and they wouldn't give it to me and then I have to get back on my bike and ride, and to the ride next one. all the way back. Do you know what I mean? But I, I'd, I'd wait until everybody got in their fancy cars before I pulled my bike out <laughs> of the bush and then started riding it. I mean, I've done movies for nothing. You've done movies for nothing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've done, I've done literally movies where I'm almost paying to be in the movie oh. because, because to be associated with the project and maybe the caliber of director and also the story you know you'll chop your arm off to be a part of it and especially as you're growing your career mm -hmm. you, you have to make some of those sacrifices so yeah wow right that's, yeah so, that's interesting i'm telling you and another thing you talked about is how how long it can take one to secure another movie after another okay. so you know how he's featured in pompeii and other movies it for him, he says it, it, can, it took him at one point in Essentially, time. Essentially, they're few and far between. Yeah, 18 months. And so it means from the money, the money that you got from the previous role, you have to spend it reasonably. So well, it's yeah, I mean, but do. if it's uh, a big, big box, well, let's you know, sorry. Well, first of all, people don't realize that, you know, they may see you on a TV that repeats and repeats and repeats, yeah. but that doesn't mean you're always working. That just means <laughs> your, your, your movie has been shown, but you, you get a movie and you have to manage that money until you get the next movie. And sometimes that next movie might not be for six months or a year. You oh. know, and I, I, in my early career, I suffered a drought of sometimes 18 months, two years. A drought of about 18 months. And you just have to manage your money, be frugal, be sensible. None of this blinging and, yeah. you know, I'm a star because you're not. <laughs> you got a movie that's out there, keep showing, but you're still, you know, you're living like the standards of an ordinary man. It's just that everybody sees your face. Yeah. You know, but so you, you got to kind of keep your feet on the ground. And mm -hmm. I think that's... My upbringing and my education kept my head on my shoulders there. Very important. Keeping your Very, head on your shoulders yeah. and your feet. Too, and no yeah. blinging. Yeah, no blinging. <laughs> but uh, for those of you who have dreams of becoming Hollywood stars, well, he says, be ready to face 99% rejection, 1% victory. First of all, you know, just being a black man in the West, the chips are stacked against you. Is so, it? Yes, yes. You know, people weren't readily open arms to Africans coming into, you know, the, the, the industry. Often the characters that you would be uh, cast in were caricatures 
of you know and then it was up to me to try to bring some humanity and range and and, and texture to those characters mm -hmm. anybody that is thinking of getting into the acting game it is 99 percent rejection and one percent victory 99 percent rejection yeah because you know i would go for weeks and weeks on auditions maybe three four five auditions throughout the week and you know that's time you have to put aside mm -hmm. that's preparation you study you get it right then you go in there and you give your all nothing and when you keep doing that it becomes really demoralizing you say is it me am yeah. i not good enough yes. is this really the right you know and and some you know some of them are really quite rude you know what i mean mm -hmm. so you, you 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 know you it's you you have to have a really thick skin it's a tough oh know. yeah Hollywood is not easy. You think it's all rosy, I'm telling but you. Yeah, it's no um, but today, as you know, the president had a media encounter. Yeah. And one of the questions he was asked was how he intends to, you know, sustain the year of a 10, regardless of the government in power. And this was his response. Really, we ought not to make this thing a one-off. It should be a permanent feature of our outreach beyond the year of return and birthright is a program that is being put in place so that we can continue with the momentum that the year of return has generated and find a way of institutionalizing the, the relationship. Uh, the things that are already happening apart from this year, for instance, this film that is about to be aired, the Joseph, the film about Joseph, which is a tribute to Tanko Bechabilanti and uh, all that. These are all is the instruments that are being fashioned to enable us to, to, to do what it is that you're seeking. All right, so you heard the precedent there. Uh, but before I go, um, let me tell you about uh, Stone Boy's Billboard uh, honor. All right. Basically, he was honored by Billboard. He featured on Sizzler's album, I'm Yours, uh, on a song called uh, Shoot Here. And after 15 weeks, the uh, album peaked at number two. So basically, he got honored. Okay. And uh, he, celebrated, he celebrated it on social media and Instagram. So yeah, congratulations to him. All right. Thank you very much, Anuela, for bringing us the show. Bizarre, beautiful.